Greetings, my name is Ana Maria Diaz Rocha and I present you my senior project, Imagination and Creation, when art meets technology. I have two questions for you. The first one is, have you seen any of these movies? Probably you have, but now, what can you tell me about the concept of digital animation? That one gets harder, right? And that's exactly why this project is important. From Girls the Dinosaur to Mickey Mouse, from Emil Reynolds to Walter Elias Disney, from Snow White to Onward, animation has reached great achievements and has proved that animation and imagination has no boundaries. And yet, this being the most exciting part, it's just the beginning. So now, I invite all artists, all engineers, and all seventh art lovers to join this journey. The photographer Ansel Adams once said that art is usually looked at but seldom looked into, and this phrase was the main motivation to start INC. But what is INC? INC wants to educate and apprise the GI school community on everything about digital animation. This by analyzing it it's from its theory, application, history, and impact on society. Why? Three main reasons. First, for the sake of art, technology, and society. Second, because animation is included in the film industry, orange economy, architecture, publicity, video games, and certain engineers, among others. So it's only fair to dedicate to its topic a project such as this one. And third, my career choice. I will be studying engineering design in design of digital entertainment. So it's directly related to digital animation. What problems around this topic? I will develop four main problem statements throughout the project. These are, first, animation has been excluded from most audiovisual historiographic occurrences. This means that while we learn from Da Vinci or Picasso, we don't learn from this art and tech modality much. Erroneously, we have it labeled as childish. Second, the scant creation of national film projects on the Scottish professional formation on animation in Colombia. Creation, I mean that, did you know that between 2006 and 2016, 10 years, only 23 projects of animation were released in Colombia? Too few. And regarding professional formation is that and a career in animation is hardly found in any university in Colombia. And what it is, it's just an emerging new program. Third, the little exploitation that this form of art and technology has in all Latin America. Animation is a really profitable industry, yet Latin America has not taken advantage of this. And fourth, the lack of cognitive perceptual skills within society. Cognitive perceptual is both seeing and understanding our surroundings. And I say lack of because we see animation, but we don't know about animation. General objectives. To promote the production and knowledge of computer animation in a way that is both practical and instructive among the community and to answer who, what, when, where, why, and how of animation within society. And for the specific objective, we want to create a short animation with the INC Creative Group, a group that I will expand on further, to analyze digital animation from different perspectives of various experts and professional grounds, such as the ones listed, and work with the GI school students and undergraduates from the visual digital design career, keep it in mind, of the AM University. How will I get to this? My hypothesis was that if we appreciate in both senses of knowing the value of and visualizing, if we practice, meaning actually doing something animated, and if we learn and discuss everything on, on digital animation, then more of this underrated form of art will be unveiled, an animated short film will be created, future generations will be encouraged to participate in this modality, and we will have more conscious, informed, and cognizant spectators as a whole of this beauty and complex modality of animation. Then I did three polls for the diagnostic. The first one was to the artist population. They were students from the GI School Art Society. I asked them, do you know who was Claude Monet? Well, 68.8 of the students did, and just 31.3% of the students did not. Then I asked them, do you know who was Emile Reynolds? 
Totally opposite, 81.3% of the students did not know who he was, and just 18.8% of the students did. This showed that Clarence, a famous painter from 1840, is more recognized within this artist community than Emile Reynaud, an inventor, animator, and film pioneer born in around the same year, 1844. For those interests, this is one with a parcel by Reynolds, and this is a optic theater created by Reynolds. This proof that animation is, apart from other forms of art, is just covered by a shallow knowledge within our society. Second, within the second, the, the second poll was done to the seventh graders for the children population. I asked them, Did, have you seen any of these movies? 100% of the students had, but only 45.5% of the students knew what was digital animation. This proof that everyone has consumed an animated film and it's a, as it is a frequent media throughout our whole lives, yet less than half of the people know about what digital animation is. This proves that we see but do not look into. And then I did a poll on where I wanted to answer it, and I asked them, what do you think about the film industry in Colombia? The answers range from good, bad, scarce variety, a joke, few productions, is progressing, etc, etc, etc. It was just to see and record like their thoughts on this theme that INC will expand on. Now, for interviews, I interviewed Manset Placencia. She is a representative of the FX animation film industry in Barcelona, Spain, and she just shared her knowledge on this theme and told us, told me about all the careers her university offers. This was important because I got it to compare to those that Colombia does offers. Then I interviewed Sara Pinita. She's a GI student and animation as parent from Armenia, Colombia. She told us she wants to study animation, but she wants to do so in Florida, United States, because she confirms animation isn't done as explored in Colombia, and thus she was really supportive with all INC initiatives. Now, theoretical framework. Well, etymology, pioneers, inventions, industries, and overall contributions to animation through time were discussed. To say a few, etymology, we saw how the word animation comes from the Latin word anima, that means soul. So animation can be defined as giving life to something to do a determined action. Pioneers, we saw Joseph Plateau, William Lincoln, and Edward North, the Lumiere brothers, Steve Jobs, John Lasseter, and else. Mentions we saw all those who that led up to the creation of the cinematography that is perhaps the most important in the seventh art and overall contributions as we did like a timeline from the first animated shorts, first animated uh, movie, first computer animated shorts, first computer animated movie, and the industries that emerged in this time. Then, for conceptual theoretical frames, we define cinematography, animated films, storyboard story reel, the types of animation such as 2D animation, 3D animation, stop motion, rotoscoping, and a concept that goes in all of this that is frame. I just want to say that cinematography is the art of creating motion pictures. Now, for references. I used First, diagnosis and proposal of efficient practices for the Colombian digital animation industry. In here, Paula Scandona and Margarita Villegas just analyze how Colombia is developing the animation industry and compare it to how other countries are doing it to give some backup and tackle the main problems we have. Then, Ministry of Technology of Information and Communication of Colombia, or MINTIC, or MINTIC. They, here, we reviewed the four projects they have developed to support the film industry in Colombia, either by tooling and either by tooling and training or monetary aids. And lastly, skills and values in the seventh art, a middle school proposal by Marco Bustillo. He said that 
Cinematography has the power of meeting really strong ideas to its public, mainly because of the vicarious experience. This is learning from others. Also, that movies permit the cultural exchange, entertainment, and philosophical dialogue. Regarding the middle school proposal, is that he studied a neurological fact that said that children have its highest peak on mental development between 4 and 12 years of age. And also, these ages is where you most consume animated production. So we just connect these two ideas. Then, for theory. First, Disney animation, the illusion of life. This is almost a bible for animation. And among all the contributions it made to the, to the area, the most important one is that it set the 12 basic principles of animation, almost like a dialogue between the creators. Then, the theory of multiple intelligence. A thesis of INC is that movies and, and animation are perhaps the most complete arts because it unites all six predecessor arts, but also that animation simultaneously uses the eight intelligences proposed by Harvard teacher Howard Gardner. So in this section, just they were viewed and connected. And then for Pixar in the Box, this is a course made by Khan Academy and Pixar Animated Studios itself. It just, I really found insight on what this industry does, what their professional do, and like a first approach to everyone interested in it. And well, for those interested, the video of Pixar in a Box is the introductory video, which they use to get you hot top on the program. And the illusion of life is just a brief explanation of the 12 principles. So for the initially proposed field die, first INC creative workshop at the high school. This was conducting various sessions with interest students to teach them everything on animation to then I'll come with an, an animated short of their choice. Second, AM University partnership. As I said, AM University in Armenia has a similar program to what animators do. So they was just going and see what how they're developing the career, what projects they've done, what they think of digital animation in Colombia, what they expect from their future professional careers, etc. And third, Cine Colombia Theaters Intervention. This was just going and interviewing those who see animated films in the theaters because they are well directly related as participants on this project. But as, as coronavirus strike and so did a lot of health measures such as the quarantine, these had to be completely changed and the field diary had to be reconstructed. So now the file diary consisted of watching and learning from interviews to experts in the field, from videos of more important concepts, from real models applying all this knowledge and else. These are around 12 sessions, so I will say the title and briefly what it was. Session one, Steve Jobs and John Lasseter interview on Pixar. These two important characters in animation expand on the creation of Toy Story of 1995 and how Pixar came out to be the studio we now know. Session two, Pixar, the map behind the movies. The most important concept Tony the Rose gives in here is that while we understand in terms of shape and color, computers just do in terms of numbers. So it's the map behind the productions. Session three, cinema is a medium of change in society. The Indian director, Nagash Kukanoor, explains how films can emit strong ideas to make its public either think or do a specific action. Then, animation basics, the optical illusion of, mov of movement. And here, the concepts of, uh, of persistence of vision, visual cortex, perception, speed of frames, and else are discussed in relation of, in, of animation. Session five, animation basics again, the art of timing and spacing. This is just how the good use of time and space can give a, a, an outcome of a quality and realistic animation. Session six, the making, the making of Snow White. The Snow White who is the princess that started all and still the fairest name of all. 
So it is a documentary on the creation of this historic and life-changing production for both Disney Studios Company and animation. Session 7, Films, Laws in Colombia. This is just showing more governmental support to this national film industry, either with for imágenes, for example, that is, or laws such as the film law that is day 814. Then Big Doctor, in conversation with. Big Doctor is our awarded a screenwriter, director, and animator from Pixar. And here he just talks about his career as a whole. Session nine, an accounting look at the making of Pixar's own work. So we saw about Snow White being Disney's first production, and now about Onward, Disney's latest production. This was to see how it has developed and progressed through time. Session 10, Ed Cadmo, Creativity Inc. Ed Cadmo is a computer scientist, co-founder of Pixar, and now retired, president of the Walt Disney Company. He shared what his book on Creativity Inc. was, and I cite, Overcoming the unseen forces that stand in the way of true inspiration. Session 11, Big Sign in Box. So I conducted nine of the 14 macro lessons this uh, course offers, and I kept this journal through all the lessons. This is like a gallery of the field diary. We see the characters named and the phenomenon explained. Yes. So now for end results. So animation has a lot of impacts, but we mainly reviewed the following. First, economic. Animation is a creative industry, so it has a lot of income, monetary incomes, to the countries that either produce it or distribute it. Second, social, because we talked about how cinematography is a tool for teaching and learning and communicating ideas in sight. Third, Professional, because we discussed about the professional formation a country such as Spain and Colombia has in this area. So the careers, the universities, both national and international. Fourth, evolution of entertainment. Animation is both an art and technology, and it has developed itself through, but it has also contributed a lot to the seventh art as a whole. And lastly, competencies development. Because as I said, the artists or people who do it simultaneously exercises all intelligences proposed by God. So what we did achieve and what we did not achieve. We did not work with the AM University students. We didn't create an animated short and we couldn't properly measure the effect of the project on the participants. But we did develop the project alongside the students and teachers of UI school. We endorsed digital animation in Colombia. We reviewed animation theory, history, application, and impact. We analyzed it from various experts and else. And really brief to answer the six W's. First, who? Animators such as John Lasseter or Walt Disney. What? Well, animate in either 2D, 3D, rotoscopy, stop motion, etc. When? The first entirely computer animated movie was released on 1995, but this animation can go back to even the 19th century, where animation is mainly concentrated in countries like United States, Canada, Japan, Germany, France, and Spain, but we want Colombia to be part of it too. Why? For entertainment, but it can also be applied in many areas. And how? For example, using the 12 principles of animation. Reflections of the development of the project. Witness, time, opportunities, GI selectives, such as the film analysis one, and art society students. Strengths personal interest, technological resources for the course mainly, and university's contact. Threats, threats, coronavirus, definitely coronavirus. And comments to whoever wants to take up this project. First, return to the INC creative, creative course because really they would have done terrific. Second, attend film festivals, 
say, SIGGRAPH in Bogota, that is an animation convention. Third, continue with some information on sources. Information sources, for example, I used the annual statistic of the film industry in Colombia, and I reviewed the years from 2013 to 2017. So if you do it on 2022, well, you have more data to analyze. And lastly, complete all projects tasks while writing the monograph. So the website, the TED talk, this presentation, all can be done while doing the monograph. And conclusions. Colombia needs to formulate more audiovisual projects and to conceive more professional approaches to the area of films and animation. Animation is a media that everyone consumes during his or her lifetime. However, only a scarce amount of people are informed or worst interest in the topic. Films are the highest form of art because they conglomerate all the six predecessor arts. Digital animation exercise simultaneously all eight intelligences proposed by Gardner. The creative and entertainment industry is very profitable and should be exploited in Latin America. Some J school artists and students as a whole develop a newfound interest, consciousness, and awareness towards animation. The impact of animation in society and multiple of its principles are now available for the J school community to read via this investigation. This monograph has a length of around 108 pages, full of really interesting and useful data for anyone interested in the animation grounds. And lastly, I attained a fir my first approach toward my future professional, which means I have some pretty strong basis for my first semester. And to wrap this up, I want to cite John Lasseter with a quote that is really can really resume all I and C, and it is that the art challenges the technology, and the technology inspires the art. Here's the bibliography with sites I used and the image I took it from, and the link to the web page. And that's all, folks. Thank you for your attention, and to all Prom 2020, reach out and find your happily ever after.